They don't care. They just want their postcard. So if you use eBay standard envelope or are you considering using it, this video is for you. What is eBay standard envelope? It uh, provides a way for you if you sell a postcard, one ounce and under, for 57 cents you can mail it. For two ounces it went up to 83 and then three ounces. Anything over three ounces you have to go to first class package. But in the old days I used to just use a stamp and a label. I had no tracking at all eBay standard envelope actually puts a barcode on the label of the envelope and it's tracked through the sorting centers at the post office, uh, USPS. And it provides information back to eBay where it's at. Never had that before. So, but eBay standard envelope's been out there a little over a year now, I think. It's been around forever. Letter track uses it. Etsy has it for letter tracking and stuff like that. But there is a little tracking number on there. Now, it's not as robust as the first class and priority tracking you have on packages, but it's better than a stamp in an envelope. Tracking for eBay standard envelope is only done at the sorting machines at the distribution centers of the U.S. Post Office. Taking the eBay standard envelope to the post office and asking them to scan it, they cannot do it. It has to be done at the distribution centers and the high-speed machines. Even when they deliver it, they don't scan they can't scan it with their wand, it'll give them an error. So don't think you can bring these to the post office and get a second scan. eBay standard envelope is also not like packages. It does not require an acceptance scan for eBay. It just requires a scan somewhere through the system uh, on there. A delivered scan, out for delivery, destination, origin scan, or whatever. It, do it doesn't need an acceptance scan. And that's uh, pretty important because packages do need an acceptance scan. But here's what's going to cause you a little bit of work if you use eBay standard envelope, I found. When a postcard gets to the last USPS sorting center in the route to the destination, it's going to show as delivered. So at the last sorting center, before it hits the mailbox of the buyer, it's going to say delivered. The postcard's still at the sorting center. It's not in the customer's mailbox yet. So when it says delivered, on a package, it's basically at the door of the customer. With eBay standard envelope, it's still at the sorting center when it says delivered. Then buyers get a message. They either get a message from eBay, eBay or they get it, they look at the tracking, see it was delivered, but there's nothing in their mailbox. So what do they do? They contact saying, it says delivered, but I didn't get a postcard. I checked with my neighbors. I looked under the mailbox. It's not here. Sometimes they can get nasty or they open a return right away because they're used to that with the packages. It's just the way it works. There's no enhancement to this. That's how it's worked. That's how it's always worked with letter track. With that, see, this little barcode is, you're not paying the five to $10 for that robust tracking. This is how it works. Some sellers say eBay is doing a poor job in communicating how eBay standard envelope works to buyers. Some sellers try to put it in their description of how it works. Basically, the end result is the buyers need to experience eBay standard envelope and how it works. I don't think the customers are going to listen to eBay if they give them a big technical description of how it works. They don't care. They just want their postcard. Putting it in their description, as we find, the more stuff you put out there, they don't read it. Maybe one out of ten might read it. But they're not going to understand it. They're buyers. They're not sellers. So how do I make it easier? This is what I do. And I've heard other people do the same. I wrote up a small canned message, a uh, pre-written message, and I saved it on my computer and phone. And here's the message that I use. I, whenever a postcard says delivered and the customer sees it, but it's not at their house and they send me a message to eBay, this is what I send them uh, on here eBay has a new tracking for items like postcards called eBay Standard Envelope. The tracking you're seeing is not like a package when it is scanned when delivered to your door. eBay Standard Envelope tracking shows delivered when it hits the last USPS sorting center in the destination route and will take a couple days to be delivered. They do normally end up arriving. Let me know if the postcard shows up or not in the next couple days.
mark. So whenever I get anybody contacting me saying it shows delivered but I didn't get it, I check the order and if it's eBay standard envelope, this is what I shoot off to them. I, I copy and paste this from my computer and I put it in a message and I send it to them. You want to keep the me you can use this message all you want or you can create your own, but you want to keep it short and to the point. Buyers do not care about the process that a seller uses to get them a postcard. They just want their postcards. They are not your friends. It is a transaction. They paid you for something and they want their postcard. If you sit there and try to explain all the things, how it works and something, you're just going to open it up for more questions. If you look at my message, it basically uses layman terms, says everything, gives them a little hope. They do normally end up arriving. And then I put a little ownership back on them to send me a message to say it did arrive. I also jot down the people's names or the order number and I'll put it out there in two, three days on my list here, then I'll contact them. I'll go back to the messages. If I haven't heard from them, I'll say, hey, did the postcard show up? And then we go on from there. But if they did open a return, they, uh, they need to close that. You can put tracking in the, in the return that they opened up, item not received. But when it does receive, you want to make sure they close that return. Now, sometimes they don't show up. And sometimes you got to take the word of the customer. It's just part of the business. Postcards are not return or scam resistant. Things will happen on there. Uh, so just be open to that. Make sure your pricing is set for a percentage of that. Once they get that message and the postcard does show up, I get a lot of responses back from people and say, wow, it did show up. Thanks for all the information. Now I know how it works. That's the key in there. So with eBay standard envelope, it's a great tool, but it does cause a little bit of work um, on there. It's not hard. I have just come to consider this as part of eBay standard envelope. eBay can probably go out there and market the heck out of it. We can put it in our listings. We can send them emails. But when it gets there, it says deliver, and it's not there, they're still going to contact you. They want you to do the work. It takes very little time to copy and paste a, a canned message like that. Now, I... I have a lot of messages that I send to customers, like, what size is this postcard? Is it posted or not? I have all those canned messages I just cut, paste, cut, paste, cut, paste. A lot of messages I get through eBay from customers I don't respond to. You know, will you take $2 for this card? Delete. Uh, you don't have to respond to everybody. People are going to try to get everything for the cheapest possible. I don't get a lot of them. Uh, but if they're racing you around, you know, asking if it's a Chrome card and just keeps going... I just push those people away. I'm not going to sit there. It's in the description. It's a postcard. It's 4 or $5. It is what it is um, on there. So be careful with your messages. You do not have to respond to them all the time. If you have best offers in your store, you're going to get a lot of offers or stuff like that. So be prepared for that. I don't use it that often. And when someone offers me, say, $3.50 for a card, sometimes I'll say, hey, let's pay for, pay for a stamp. What about $4? I'll do stuff like that, but I don't get messages too often. I don't live in messages. But what I also found is this app for the iPhone. I don't think it's for the Android. I didn't do a lot of checking on it because I have an iPhone. It's called Can Response Keyboard. And you can go in the Apple App Store and find this, and you can probably find something close to it in Android. I don't know Android, so there might be something out there for it. But here's a little picture of what you see, CRK, and that's the little thumbnail you're going to see uh, when you load it on your phone. And you can save your canned responses in this app and copy and paste from there as well. Very simple to do. So when you're in a message, open can, it'll paste it right over. So I can do it from my computer or I can do it from my phone. And you can search for the app. I think it's about 2 to $3 to buy the full featured one. I don't know if they have a trial. I've had it forever on there. But can response keyboard. I call it canned. Uh, a lot of people use it. I use it for YouTube. Um, other stuff I do, I just got canned messages. And I also save them on my computer, and they automatically sync over to Can. So check that little app out. It helps out a lot. You can use it for everything. But just to recap, where's my postcard? That You're going to get that. And I've come to consider it's just part of eBay standard envelope. I don't let it upset me. They can get nasty. They can open returns. You just got to get them to wait a couple more days. I've seen it show up in a day, two, three days. Over time, as more buyers experience eBay standard envelope, I think it's, it should get better. 
and the responses should decrease. So once a customer goes through it and I send them the message, they respond saying, well, now I know how it works. That customer pretty well knows after that that it's going to be a couple days once it says delivered. But you got to get your customers to wait on there. I hope this helps with any questions about that, how I do it. You can do it whatever way you want, whatever message you want. But if you want to cut and paste that message and use it, feel free. I just created it on there. Whatever message you want to send, but keep it short, to the point, and don't ask for more problems <laughs> with a big message. But if you want to know more about eBay Standard Envelope and how it's working, every month I do an analysis of 100 mailings in eBay and then whatever comes in Etsy on how they did if they got an origin scan, destination scan, out for delivery and delivered, what state it went to and the average days it took to get there. Things are up in the 80% area now for a lot of them, a lot better than it was before. So check this video out. I have a little blurb in there that shows about how it all works. Real simple thing. Thanks for watching, and that's all I got for you today. Thanks.